Eagles to North East doing the very last part now, so we're gonna go and and do some more stuff. Yes, that's right. And we are gonna get the final uh, to just technically. I mean, if you do all the chests, depending on how many there are, I can look at this award here from doing those things. I mean, I know there are areas like that also in. In Legion, rather I respect that. Yeah, like this is seventy-one thousand. So as you go and do all the bonus objectives, basically. Check this well, and this is I don't know supplies. So they are down. Uh, oh yeah, they are down here. Okay, good. I believe you need to send to the channel all of them, but I don't know. Alright, they are on. They were on passive. God damn it. I'm so stupid sometimes. Like not realizing that they have been on passive all this time. And just being like, why does this take so long time to kill? And whoopsie. <laughs> I just mean I should just change the blood. Let's just actually change the blood. Instead, just so I can be. I don't think it stacks, does it? I'm gonna say yeah, if the whole race is the same though. What is it? Hardness. The reason of stunner fix is a risk by percent Yeah, and I believe it stacks with that. One minute. I really like Rune Stark though. So, consumption is. Yeah, you don't get consumption anymore, right? No. So this is 579, so this is 575. Of course you can still get that. I need 400% of that damage. Because the damage and healing done by your next death strike, which is good. Boiling quite often, actually. Okay, I should actually just put that uh, there, let's put the rune stack there. This is really good just because the maximum health, but the uh, Osuari has this point as well because of making that stack cheaper basically, which makes it easier to use spend on when I must set this up. Room type is just very good overall, even though you're required to spend rooms on that. Let's just have that there. Show up here. Now was the day show to go from Skyrim after dancing with weapon. So that's on the K. Yeah, 
to this. Just it does kind of assist the line ability. Yeah, okay, you have still have death advance as well. So we go that instead, and I'm gonna go this. This is a course for this. Is. This is 3 minute cooldown, and this is Frisco, and that's medical. But yeah, that there is another way to apply the blood plates. I'm told that this actually is still powerful, also, to use sometimes. Um, let's see here. Um, Death and the okay, reduce the movement speed of enemies. Prince Gasp, you can use it 2 minutes and that's 7 seconds, but a bit more to go. Um, blood bombs can of course sometimes be good, but I don't know if the new ones are good though. And then burst healing you for 50% of missing health, which is a pretty, pretty nice thing, and they will heal you immediately. But I knocked the least effect on that. I like Purgatory, but Red Thirst I think is better just because it reduces the cooldown on the pick blood by one second per time during the power spend, so yeah, you can have it up very, very often. I say also here, for example, as I said, um, also air is probably good because making the death stock cheaper basically is really, really powerful. Let's try and do this again then. Alright, we can't summon a ghoul, right? So, I mean, we do have race ally, but we don't have like a ghoul that we can use. That's blood. Wait, do I even have the thing equipped? No, I don't. Where's my bone shields? Okay, I have it as my number one ability. That's a bit weird. Actually, this, this XP is not really half bad, but I think it would be way high when... I wonder if Mythic Downers then probably still give XP then. That giving 35,000 is just pretty, pretty insane. To be honest. <laughs> I mean, imagine if all the treasures in Talon Jungle give, gives you... Right, I should probably go and do and try and solo Supremo Kazakh because his stuff is heroic. I mean, so the rape would definitely be worth it too if I get the correct rape. This would definitely be worth it, even though the haste is higher. That would definitely be worth it. Or this thing with the speed, the Marker Supreme Doom is also worth it if you get it. There's a pretty, pretty high chance that he actually drops something, I think. But also, for example, he will drop more stuff on a high level, I think, because of the way some stuff works. Also, this is in here somewhere. The thing that I like about the Rune Strike is it hits pretty, pretty, pretty hard, to be honest. I don't know if the death thing is the what I recommend to have first. I should make this setup my own another death knight that I have actually. I almost feel like with blood you're dealing a lot of damage as you know, like the death knight. And I think that like orc death knights are used, you know, like I kinda wish when they gave us death knight that they would have had way less classes as death knights. Yeah. 
the thing is that you can hit like we will hard with rune strike, and it's just that your opponent cannot. I believe dodged uh, like it cannot be dodged. No, okay, it's not. I thought it had an effect. I think it used to have like it's similar to that warrior move, whatever you call it. So this is it's not going to be up here. I don't care if I pull a ton of enemies. So I'm guessing it's it's not up here. No. Unless it's down below. Does that lead down below? No, it does not. So it's probably not in here then. No, because I don't see any egg. So yeah, it's similar to like the grind you do in in what they call it in so it's probably up here. It's probably a camera egg. Oh not that uh, yeah it's those are the cameras right. Oh no those are the Rylak I think. Where is it? Is it like is it just it might just be here but like further in. Let me see how far in can I see. That looks like the egg. Let us egg. The thing is, just you can deal a lot of damage as you know, like a blood death knight. Imagine if you could go to like Kultras earlier and stuff that I almost kind of wish that they would make it so that when each new expansion co comes out or they make it so that you could like Mysterious Egg Is that a mountain? Is that a pet it would hurt you into? Okay, now it's only this one left here. Hang on, yeah, I'm gonna actually go visit my garrison again. Just I'm gonna sell, uh, sell the things I have currently here so we can just get enough to get you know, to go back to in a bit. Or to go back to, you know, in place. So of course the Ashron is really, really far away when you were on this thing here. I wonder if equipping the whole thing will give me the the set. I mean, it should show up now then, but we probably it won't show up as a set just because I'm not the correct class because this is warrior gear basically, pretty much. So where are the closest? I can sell stuff right already. Nice. So I don't lose it right. I don't lose the boots correct. Yeah, okay. So yeah, of course I need to I uh, probably need to use the full set though before it counts as being a set sometimes so into a couple of pieces. That's male whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let me get back my old boots. Where are they? Some big war boots. I didn't actually realize that it was. Did he just laugh at me? Because I didn't realize that the thing was wrong. God damn it. That was male, whoops. So I lost out on our strength bonus then. Good. That's 213, that's great. Um, and uh, we don't have an easy way to get back to. to. Uh,
because I don't have the elevator gas and so let's uh, or I mean I could just use the death gate and go back to the run. I could use fly alternatively use the ash run. Stop up there. So that has gotten us up to 40% too, so we're almost all the way to one or three just from that, so I mean that is just way better to just level a bit slower through wall laws but then save all the treasures until max level pretty much. I don't think I should have any problem using full set actually. I believe the uh, where is that maze? This I think this is the same more or less the variant twist actually, which is the old paladin hammer from like a quest that you can do which requires you to go to Shadow Farm Keep and to into dead mines. You need the wood from dead mines. And I believe you need a special type of ingot moon steel ingots or something like that. I think it was called. Alright, I can use to turn it into anything. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so now that we have done that, uh, can I? Alright, the hot stone, I need to change here. So this... Economic fish detector, yeah, I should place the donut there. And then the ward open. And then the donut here somewhere, and the uh, thing there. And then this here. And then... Uh, Fishing here, uh, where's the toy? The old Mar thing, here we go, boom. Nice. So I think it shows up then. Nope, it does not. It might actually show up on the board. Yeah, I can show you, I can search just for the collectible ones so I can see them immediately and stuff like that. I kind of wish that you could have like also like partially collected or something like that instead of you instead of just not collected you know stuff like that just to you know have the ones just that you collect the pieces from. Yeah, the skin color change is too expensive of course. Beard, wild beard, thick beard, twin braids, shop braids, twin braids, shops. I don't think there are any new hair colors though. Then what about Ghoul? Arcanite Reaper. It makes more sense that my character is old actually. I'm 
know why orcs cannot have mustaches, that seems like weird. I like this though, like with a little bit of beard that is like, you know, like, but I also like a wild beard. that facial hair. I don't even have that facial hair. See how easy it is. I mean, it should probably be a bit, should be a bit decent blood. Just because of the thing capabilities. And I mean, depending on the XP also, so we need to go to, uh, what is it, uh, Blood Slime Mines. So it's over here near where the cave is. I think that's where it is, this cave here. I think. Can we kill these rares? Oh, what is it? It's down below, it's in here. Right? Yeah. But. Resource display. Yeah, I did, but I'm on their health. When I can see my own health here, I don't need to look at any uh, up in the left corner. That's really bad. Uh, six. Do it, do it, do it, Omar. Damn it, I'm gonna die. Damn it. I could almost handle that. Almost. I would have survived it with Purgatory though, and I would have actually killed him with Purgatory there. In that situation, it was actually better. And I think one of the couple would have made me survive also, but, but yeah, it's just very, very good with the rune tap. I think I've popped the rune tap too often though. because I used to pull a lot of enemies and it's just like impossible to avoid. Well, I mean, it's not impossible, but I didn't want to like take all the extra time it would have taken. So now we're going to be putting this here. Now we have the thing up again, the dancing room blade. I should actually just focus here. And I should be healing as often as possible, basically. Important one, and I let my stacks run low on like the thing. There you go, no, no, no problem. And it still was quite a few of them.
thing is I really like the runes stack though, like so that is like runes like you get back for spending runes basically. So yeah, you won't be spamming runes as much as possible. And then once you have enough haste, like your rune stacks are really really good. Okay. You can still do good. You can actually by the way use use Coffin's grasp as by interrupt. Skog step 136 cloak. Oh that's more haste. Less more haste, but less versatility. Ah, okay. I don't know if that was worth it though. This is of course the half tier, I think, set. But this is not the correct uh, tier set. I think the other tier set is the correct one, actually. The one that's not the 0 0.5 tier set. The one which is basically like... Because if you check what the warrior tier set is, like this is the... Basically it's like heroism and then it's like might and stuff like that. And might is of course the one that's like, yeah. So let me go over there. How the fast is flying on it? Just a second. I don't want to attack pets right now. So why do I need to upgrade it? I need the, the what do you call it? The, I haven't learned that yet, the thing I need. Okay, I need some other engineering bomb. Oh wait, haven't I made the goggles yet? Okay, I need one and ten for those, but the other goggles. I should be able to make it also one forty-five. These goggles. I thought there were a way to upgrade them. Where are there? Because they had 110, you used to make these ones. Once there is 110, and that's actually pretty good. How good are the. I cannot do this, I cannot die. Ah. I cannot do my fix. <laughs> cannot do my fix. Heroics. Heroic. Is it still mythic now? No, it is her work it's saying now, okay. It is this song as Gallo because I don't want to die just from like... I seem to be able to swim now at least. But I don't know, it might be that I got hit by something before that I shouldn't have gotten hit by. It says it's heroic now, at least, but so yeah. It might be used that I don't have enough level advantage yet. Yeah, no, I'm recovering, bro. 
Riverside and that for a little you know, like Because it scales up, that's why. Okay, in normal mode. Oh, wait, there were level 100 before. Maybe the scaling is wrong on normal. Wait, the, have they changed this with the drano scaling? Yeah, because this doesn't feel that much. They're taking more damage actually, but... Would actually be really, really helpful. Blood worms would be way more helpful at this point rather than the leech because I think my leech is way too low to it being worth it. that smell mm, my computer is burning up mm. 74 I probably think I need to put some high stand up but why doesn't it why doesn't it change it automatically like that's like very very weird like because really like if it's running like really really often then you know this just feels weird So I don't think that that's like just 15, like I don't think it's exactly 15% leech, I don't think it is, I mean even that is still not very very high, like I mean if you want to twink yourself at 101 or whatever you need like a lot of stuff. So, but I can get the quest now. Does it stack the progress on like other death knights or how does that work exactly? Because I mean, yeah, see they do show here, but they don't, they don't, 
Yeah, so you don't have the thing available here, the, the other things of that. I kind of wish that they would have made that just, you know. Let's see, anyway, that's actually going to do it then for this time, I think. I'm actually change here to blood worms. All the mock blood, uh, the enemies, the missing auto attacks would also heal the victim for 2% of their victim action health. Untap is good though, it lasts a very very short time, that's the main problem with it. It only lasts for 4 seconds, so the villain of Corpolis is very very good. I think in that situation, reducing the running power cost of, uh, of that track is probably a lot better because that was what prevented me from using it before, it wasn't a cooldown, it was like this. So yeah, and sure, the maximum health is nice and everything, but yeah. And I should probably have consumption instead. Like that. that only drains the health, right? That doesn't restore health. Yeah, it's to per target hit. How many target does it hit? Yeah, so it hits two targets, so it kills all. Always cleaves. That will generate more runic power per target hit. So yeah, there's two additional tar per target hit. So if you hit two targets... Per target hit, but it can only hit up to two targets. make it no so you can only start two so five six eight so you give a you get eight runic power from that Maran doesn't give you runic power is that the only generator of runic power that's what it seems like Does the, the rune stack doesn't even use up runic power though. Blood boil doesn't generate runic power. Alright, what do you mean within the area your hot stack will hit? So I should actually get up uh, get it up as much as possible. So moving rune stack frees up a lot of space actually. Just one slot, but yeah. This good if like they would do spell damage. I don't know if hot supply would actually work on regular enemies or not. I 
this one though blood for blood that just seems very good though because of it being like because of like 60% extra damage with heart strike that seem very very good actually So does, did that affect them or not? I wonder if that affected them. I mean, I should be able to tell that right. My actions. Your blood rage, your blood plage. Your leech healed. Doesn't look like it. Your unholy strength heal you. Is that a damage it healed? Or is that a heal? Like I don't know, it's probably like a debuff on the target, so it's really really hard to see if it did its job or not. No right, I should be able to actually test if it works on just that target on me. I feel like you just found the correct one. Okay, it's the maximum max health reduced by. Okay, so that's what it does. It reduces the maximum health as what the composting hour actually does. So that just reduces something's max health. So 50% less health definitely helps and stuff that's so yeah. And you do gain on our stop shield actually with that, so yeah. So now this is 40 running power instead of 45, so yeah. But the fact that you don't have like a faster way to I'm thinking also maybe not this. It's really good though, making that amount of better, good, better, but yeah, the Will of Necropolis is probably just better to use. Like, okay, sure, this must me mean that you're at lower health more often, but I honestly feel like when you get low, if you're trying to solve stuff, then this is really, really good. But that's kind of like really power generation. Consume about five bonus charges for the eight shots, consume you get six rune power. <laughs> so it's like six times five, so it's 30 runic power you can gain via that then if you uh, absorb all the five charges. And absorb damage equal to 6% of maximum health. So does that affect the stack then? So the absorb seal doesn't like become stronger than I don't think. So it's always the six percent. Because if that would also be times five, then you would have like a thirty percent of your max health like shield and that would actually be way better. Although having that but that also makes it so that you have to get you have to get five shards of this. It generates three shards of them using it once and using it twice. But yeah, I think the consumption would have used helped so much because that just hits you 400 percent of the damage. So I can deal. Uh, I can deal like. do it so I've shown you all the rewards and all stuff that so but yeah so I mean I really really liked it. that was actually pretty, pretty quick to be honest to how quickly that level up I'm just gonna check one thing though first okay so it doesn't know where to put me so I probably looked up a document fair or something 
Ano. Where did this character log out? Because this is one it has nowhere to put you. And over here, and yeah, that's just because of that. Okay, so. We have unspent talent, some with arms, so yes. So we also have the Skyhawk Claymore when we have the block and the shield. It generates. This goes place doesn't place an opinion. We cannot use Warbreak anymore. Making execute cost no raids is still pretty fucking good to be honest. Scout Splitter is another like a rage generator. Like how much this generates 28, generates 28 via Scout Splitter. <laughs> what does generate rage? Oh, really? Like only charge. Oh, wait, yeah, I better shout this new. I better shout this back in of course, which is really good. But that doesn't give you rage. Strikes is a thing now, Tom, of course. <laughs> the money haven't logged in for a long time. Um, so, Bloodstorm is uh, you always have now. Okay, Victor Rush. I should probably not have it there. Uh, what's it? Secure. Okay, so Mortal Strike should be first, but I'm not using that for so. Mortal Strike. Overpower, power sweeping strikes. Actually, let's just have it set up like this. Uh, die by the sword. Colossus smash. Oops, so this. Colossus smash. Skull splitter. There's so many balance though. Yeah, I should not have this here. What is because this always just like Okay, so slam doesn't show up. What? using them. I mean, because slam doesn't do anything anymore, right? Slam doesn't have like the function anymore. I mean, slam is the rage stump, correct? Slam is kind of a rage stump that you use normally. Because the Scott Bit, of course, has a cooldown on it. And this you cannot always use, so slam is the rage stump. Why Slam doesn't show up as part of the base thing here is weird. That's really weird in my opinion. Yes, I need that to be able to charge more often. 
or impending victories. Good because it replaces victory rush. Why did I put victory rush? It looks like I removed it from the power. What? No, it's over here. Okay. One of them has so many abilities, though. Yeah, so we just want to be little less. You would just put in your Victor Rust somewhere because, yeah, because Victor Rust on the triggers when you kill something. So, yeah. Depending victory though, you can always use every 30 seconds. thing. So right now it requires for us to have less than 20% health and this is now on 35% health so with combining that with sun death for example would make execute cause no rage and that damages if you spend the 40 rage on it. Massacre, I'm actually gonna skip Scott Splitter down. I don't know how often that will proc from auto attacks though. Your attacks, it says, so maybe it's also. And I would want to use it like this probably. Normally I would take the like this the bad the pummel thing first, but yeah. The red clip is just really really good though for throwing the onions. Defensive stance is just really really good though. I could basically just count this almost as being a buff. Why is my berserker range over there? I guess it's better when you're solving dungeons and stuff. When the abilities. Uh, of course, that is also very good making you know, you slam like primary targets. Whirlwind. So basically, when you spend on Whirlwind, you will also, also slam. So then maybe it's not worth using slam anymore and you use the Whirlwind over it. Even though Whirlwind is less damage than a slam, with that you basically make it so Whirlwind replaces slam pretty much. Because Whirlwind doesn't have a cooldown, it's at the rage, so it's a bit more rage than a slam. But with 10% damage, let me check here, 10% damage, that makes it cost 450, this is 653, but it costs 450 and it also slams your primary target, so... So, yeah, slam is not AOE, so it's basically. 
with fervor of battle you replace your uh, you replace slam with whirlwind so like that then so because that actually seems very good rend of course is always good when it's a target causing physical damage and instantly and an additional bleed damage and this is just good because it makes it so that people cannot stealth and stuff that and the defensive stance is of course very good in pvp situations <laughs> no, I don't even have hamsting here on the main I think it's just so many annoying things you need to keep it take over abilities damage a second target due to sweeping strikes they refund Okay, so you get rage back when you have sweeping strikes up when there are more targets than one. So with the closest matches. If I'm more quickly wall back is a lot better. Okay, I don't even have the cleave right now. I just actually need to begin to cleave so I could just I didn't even realize that so Because if that is the case, then maybe I will go with having a skull splitter. But I don't know. Or go with having the round. So that hits multiple targets then. Stand for 10 seconds, just like the old one. All of this is really good here. Because this is quite a lot of damage, actually, to be honest. How long did swooping stacks last? 10 seconds using a target damaging a meditation one addition target with, with 8 yards for them to buff something or damage, so. And this makes it uh, makes you and I often can use it 30 seconds so it only has kind of like a face that can cool down wall breaker which is this this would basically read colossal smash otherwise gives you haste avatar of course is increases damage then the calmer is there it costs the ability is by 100% for 6 seconds so you can then you spam your rage ability so then you wanna spam then can you spam whirlwind when deadly calm is up so you can use you pop deadly calm you just spam by whirlwinds and you automatically slam via that and that seems really good actually avatar is of course just insane because of 20 percent and because it lasts 20 seconds as well Turn out of powers to Shardius, yes. I don't rage. Cool down, um, uh, yeah, I get my mint. And but this is so good of getting 10% or 20% if, if any target is below 100 percent health. And for the kill. So we'll back will have the haste effect. Let's see here, so adaptation. No relentless. Okay, so what is it for? Commanding shout. I know I'm gonna go over one hour, I don't care. Could I know commanding shout to reach by two minutes? Ooh, that's really good. Um, which makes it so that you can use it pretty often. So the Colossus shards reset. Could I your power and raise gain from the shards increased by 15? That's very, very good. That could now power. And because I'm not using the thing that makes all power has two shards, which also increases mortal strike damage. I think this arm um, that sent an excuse now is the 15 yard range. Yeah, that's the AOE spell reflect, kind of, or the spell reflection is used that. 
You said it's already to do with while channeling all damage. You and the target deal to all targets other than each other is reduced by 50%. So basically, it makes you deal less AoE damage. But you can basically use it on something so that just makes your. So, I mean, I guess it's really, really good to protect a healer then. Yeah. Or actually, you know, most of the equity 50% increased damage and receiving by additional by 50%. Okay. More ban is really good though. Increase movement speed by 30%. And there's the duration of one incoming car control effects by 50%. To last within 30 yards. So, 30 yards is pretty long range. So, you can throw that ahead of yourself and then you can use the run really, really fast with that. Just could on Blade Storm by 30%. Blade Storm now also plays multiple wounds. Has some more destruction. Nice. And we're also gonna have. Warband is really good for soloing stuff though. Although this is really really good to have on one minute. This is really really good though, and making execute have range. Especially since we have sun and death. Let's make that have range. And maybe. Pending victory is not actually worth it because with double time we can charge more often, and then if you combine that, for example, with Shadow of the Colossus, you make your charge give you more, and then it resets so you can use charge a lot if you use double time. Space now. <laughs> ah. For Hamsting. Nice. And this, of course, when you spend every twenty rage, you spend. Seems very good. I wanna shake though, use something here. Oh, why am I not using alums? Because the alums aren't as good. shows up as a set or not. <coughs> yes it does. So it should show up here. Yes. How much does it cost? We have to for two things into that full set. That is nice. That's yeah. yeah, okay, so yeah, so that's gonna do it for this time. Hope you all enjoy this and stuff. And yeah, I'll see how many clips I upload today because it's quite late now, you know. So we'll see. But I did show you, of course, all the rewards, and then we played quite a lot of different games, so yeah. But I'll see you all next time.